today is the big day. We're going to Rocky Mountain Ooh. National Park. We're so excited. We have two hikes planned. The first one is about four and a half miles. Um, it's where you see the three lakes. And then the second one is about five and a half miles. We stayed a little outside of Boulder last night. So it's about an hour drive. to our first trailhead. It's called the Emerald Lake Trail. What are we doing, Ariel? Waiting in line for the shuttle. Um, we should have got here earlier. Way earlier. This is why. We're probably not even going to be on the next two bus loads okay, to take looks, us to the trailhead. It feels great outside. We're in the trees and <laughs> the mountains. I mean, there's... There's worse places to be in line. I hate people. <laughs> Just got off the bus, starting our trail. So we're seeing Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, and Emerald Lake. I can cross this off my list. I've always wanted to hike in the Rockies. First lake, Nymph Lake. Went too bad for about 15 minutes into the hike. Yeah, so we realized we were on the wrong <laughs> side of the lake because uh, here's a view you get from this side. <laughs> Let's don't get too hot. This is my first time using this grail water bottle. So you fill the black part up with water, and then you push the actual part you drink out of down. It has a filter at the bottom of it. And it filters out all the nasty stuff. It's even you with crystal clear Colorado water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that tastes delicious and it is ice cold. <laughs> Going to break with the view. Oh yeah. So pretty. This is definitely probably the prettiest hike we've done. Our first glimpse of Emerald Lake. <laughs> Try to get to a good spot to have all to ourselves. Looks like Ariel found a spot. The view of Emerald Lake and uh, that belongs peak right there, isn't it, Ariel? Mm -hmm. Today the high is like what, 82, 85. 83, something like that. And I think it's supposed to be this way tomorrow, which is Monday. And then Tuesday, there's like a 50 degree temperature drop. And they're supposed to get like a fresh blanket of snow everywhere. Get ready to hit the trails. <laughs> On to trail number two. Well, we number gotta, dose. We gotta finish our current trail. Oh, yeah.
Dude, that's super. You gotta touch it. <laughs> okay. It's super cold. <laughs> See like these freaking two year olds <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing right. the same hike. You're like I'm a pro <laughs> hiker and then you're like <laughs> mm. this trip COVID zero team Alexander one. <laughs> Disney was so beautiful. Real. So is the scenery. Uh, <laughs> the bear lake is only 256 feet apparently, so we're pretty much already there from the trailhead, so <laughs> this will be our fourth lake today. Understatement. Like one of the prettiest lakes, and it's so close too. All right, so now we're going to Alberta Falls. It's supposed to be a nice waterfall, it's supposed to be a mile out and then a mile back. So maybe our last hike of the day. When you're already tired and we're already having to uh, do calf stretches, it's gonna be brutal on the way back up. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you. <laughs> yeah, someone's feeding you, aren't they? You're so cute. My cat would love you. <laughs> there you are. First view of the falls. So update, Ariel's pretty smart, but she found this alternate route to take that is still for the most part downhill. So we got to cheat the system and didn't have to go uphill the way we originally came. Noise. wasn't here like throughout the day that is that's sad and a successful hike in the bed all right let's get some food we're on our way 
by to look at some elk. The uh, park ranger that was there kind of told some fun facts about this smoke that we're seeing. Obviously there's a, a forest fire going on. Apparently it's getting so massive that it's creating like its own weather system. There's like a paranumous cloud. I don't know, I'm completely butchering that, but she said it's pretty cool though because like it produces its own what you call uh, dry lightning without rain and thunder. I thought that was a pretty interesting fun fact. Oh, Alright, let's get into some food. This is what's for dinner. We got fish tacos. Fish tacos. I got the Colorado brisket nachos. Not fishy. Not greasy. It's just like super crunchy. Colorado hat. This one's pretty cute, right? I think she's obsessed. Do I look like a local? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Next stop, Stanley Hotel. y'all have ever seen Austin Powers? <laughs> the dude's going back and forth trying to get out. This is what we're doing. And there we go. We cleared it. <laughs> First view of Stanley Hotel. It's a fun fact. This is what uh, Stephen King's movie The Shining was based off of. Here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> this is also where Dumb and Dumber was filmed. picture this so a huge snowstorm just happened right and you're trying to run away from your insane father that just lost his mind and is charging you with an axe I don't think they added this maze until after the movie was made because they were trying to uh, mimic um, the movie All right, we're leaving Stanley Hotel super creepy they try to you don't even know the back story <laughs> to it so there's elk, the elk crossing the, the road way. Like, we cannot cry. Right here and here. Look at them. Hi, they ain't stopping either. They're like, shoot, this is our hey. place. Oh my gosh, they're crying. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, she's eating the flowers. <laughs> she's eating the flowers. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Wow. Decided to come to this little frisbee golf place that is completely overrun by elk. There's like hearts. Like literally in the display. Yeah. Guess we're heading to the hotel now. We got our last bit of sightseeing in, seeing the elk, the sun setting over the mountains. Pretty sure you couldn't talk that, so yeah. we got about an hour drive back to our hotel. We definitely used up every last minute of our day and that's this part. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We're, you're on, we're, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 